Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another classic album. And during the month of January, we're looking at classic albums that seem to be forgotten about. Put on the back of the shelf and forgotten about. Uh, today, we're going to look at an album from a band called Squeeze. Great British band, uh, formed in the late 70s. And they've been recording up to the 2010s. I think it was the last time we heard something from it. Really started out with not so much commercially successful in the United States, but over here. They were a big band. And they are considered part of that second British wave invasion. Most of the classic songs are written by Chris Difford and Glenn Tilbrook, who were hailed as the heirs to the Lennon McCartney throne, especially in them early days. So, uh, the album we're going to look at is their third album, and it is called Argy Bargy. And it was recorded after the, the sophomore album called The Cats. We will be doing Squeeze Larry in the year for those Squeeze fans. So, um, on here we've got a Chris Stifford who plays rhythm guitars and vocals and lead vocals on a couple of the songs. Glenn Tilbrook on keyboards and guitars. Jules Holland on the keyboards. And he does sing one track on here. John Bentley on the bass. Gilson Day Lavish, sorry, on drums. The string and new arrangements were done by Del Newman. So this album opens up with a classic squeeze song. Pulling Muscles from the Shell. I love this track. Uh, it's quirky. It's a single. Great vocal from, from Glenn Tilbrook. It's just got a real quirky keyboard bit from Jules. I just like that. Then we have another one of my favourite songs by Squeeze. It was definitely in my top ten. If I remember. Another Nail in My Heart. Love Jules's keyboards and piano in this. That great steady, as you like, John Bentley bass line. Again, a great vocal from Glenn. Okay, the next track is one that's it's one of the deep cut tracks on this album. It's Separate Beds. Love Gilson's German on this. It's a very simple trap. Uh, a great vocal once again from Glenn. I think this is like the little brother of up, up the junction. It's in the it's a con, the continuing story. I think it's it's got that feel to it, you know. The break this is part of that breakup in the song up the junction. That's how I feel, and that's how I look at it. Uh, Misadventure. It's got a little bit of that. People don't like this post punk thing, but it is. It's got it's a great a little rocker. This is. Um, some great keyboard work here from Jules Holland. Fantastic track. Then I think I'm going to go go. One of my favourite deep cut tracks. If I was just to do a deep cut track top 10 of um, Squeeze, this would be in there. I think it's a very, very good song. It's a shame it didn't come out as a single. I really like that track. Um, let's flip it over to side 2. For Farfisa Beat, exceptional guitar work here from both Chris and Glenn. You can feel that uh, interplay there. Very quirky track. Then we have a cr the track that Chris sings on. I like Chris's voice. There's only one man that could sing called for Cats, and that was Chris. And this is here comes that feeling again. It's got that sort of quirkiness to it. He, he, Oh, I do like that. Then we get Vicky Verky. It's one of those squeeze tracks that, again, it's. If you've not heard the album, you wouldn't have heard this. It's very good. Uh, I love the guitar work in this. Again, these tracks are very quirky, and the lyrics are just fantastic that Chris and Glenn write. If I Didn't Love You, another good track. Um, this is Jules Holland showing his skills. Uh, he's a very good pianist. 
full stop I do like Jules Holland I love when he does his big band stuff as well great track the wrong side of the moon now this is um, Jules Holland having a sing um, he's not the best singer in the world but it's quirky and he seems to be having a lot of fun with it I don't mind it to be quite honest there at the top I really like this it's in the same vein as another nail in my heart that quick quirky pop song with some great tones on it and some uh, great guitar work and that was the last track okay this album as I said was released in 1980 and it spent 15 weeks on the album tracks but only peaked at number 32 but it's more significant it was the first squeeze album to chart on the US Billboard and it got to number 71 which he spent six weeks on the American Billboard which is good for them during the summer of 80 but the critical it has been seen critically acclaimed from music writer Chris Jones of BBC Music called the album their crowning achievement and a masterpiece of the kitchen sink pop concluding if you were going to own at least one squeeze album it has to be this one I totally agree this is uh, I, I did have it on CD unfortunately I had to get rid of it when I downsized but now I've got a record player this is on that wish list um, Stephen Thomas of Irwin Mu of all music works argy bargy doesn't stay in one place it's restless and cracking with colours with Archie Bard, he says it was clear that the squeeze were at the top of the pack among the new wave popsters. I quite agree with that. So let's have a look at the personal ratings. Professional ratings, sorry. All Music gave it a five stars. Chris Gow gave it a B minus. The Encyclopedia Popular Music gave it four star out of five. Mojo gave it a four out of five stars. Record Collector, four out of five stars. Record Mirror, three out of five. The Rolling Stone Album Guide gave it a four out of five stars. Smash Hips, nine out of ten. And Uncut, nine out of ten. So it was very popular with the critics. Now, I do like this week's album. So their first three were really good. And then they went a bit of a hit and a miss. But... Uh, this to me is, is sort of when they were at their biggest I think I do like this it's got some great deep cut tracks on here um, it's very consistent quirky a good pop album from 1980 so um, I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10 but look out later in the year for a squeeze full album ranking Okay, that's all for today. Uh, tomorrow, um, we have got The Pogues, which is sort of a tribute to Shane McGowan, who sadly passed just before Christmas. And tomorrow's retro ranking, it's one of them bizarre ones I like doing. So I'm going to pick tomorrow my top 10 UK TV cop themes. I said I'd be doing some different ones in 2024, and this one certainly is different. So that's all tomorrow. Keep warm today if you're in the UK. It's not very warm. So have a great day, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.